Hello everyone. It's been a long time since I've done a tutorial, and uh, the reason is because of what you see here. Uh, this is Dragon Wars, uh, the video game, which is going to be coming out for the iPad, Apple iPad, in just a few weeks here. Now I know you've probably said, hey, you've been talking about uh, building these other games in the past, but uh, I've actually built this game. Uh, it's actually running, and it's just a matter now I'm going to be adding some bells and whistles and some more creatures and some more artwork and then it'll be out and um, I'll also be uh, uh, putting out some updates for it. So that's what I've been working on and let me kind of spin the camera around here and um, this is the opening scene of the game and it's been built in this program called Unity and I wanted to start doing a whole bunch of tutorials on Unity. I, I finally think I know enough about it to start helping you guys out on how to use it. So this tutorial is going to be just an overview of Unity, what it is, and basically how it works. So um, Unity is a fantastic program, and one of the main reasons why, let me go to the file build settings, and you can see I just have the iPhone version, so the iPhone is the only thing that is, the iPhone basic is the only thing that's, that's available to me, but you can build games and applications for a web player, a, a dashboard widget, a, 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 a Mac, uh, version of your game or a Windows version of your game and um, if you have the pro version for example you can do it all from the same thing now there's a couple different versions of unity this is the unity iPhone basic there's Unity iPhone advanced and there's also unity pro which lets you build all of them there's also let me bring this one up here it looks very similar this is unity um, let me bring in a, a creature here so we can kind of see something this is the, the free version of Unity which is out there, which is basically a very similar to the um, uh, Unity uh, uh, Pro. It has a lot of the same capabilities. So you can use this for free, and you can actually, let's see, file, build settings. You can actually uh, export to quite a few things just from this. You can do web player, Windows, and Mac standalone. So um, you know you can build some, some nice desktop games with this system here. Um, there's just a few little differences with the UI compared to the other one, the iPhone one. Uh, easy way to tell which one you're using is, number one, this one has this little widget for going to your different viewpoints. And also, the rotation tool looks like this, looks like the Maya rotation tool. If you go to the Unity uh, one and you select the rotation tool, it looks um, sort of like the uh, the old, uh, I think, Lightwave or something used to have that, or 3DS Max. But anyway... Um, so that is the various versions of Unity. Now let me show you uh, basically how this system operates. So let me switch back to this one here and um, take out that. Okay, so um, you have a stage, uh, which is you have your scene window here. And uh, you have, sort of, for example, a, a little grid with a little camera in here. And you'll see the camera box. This should look very similar to anything... If you've used any kind of 3D programs, Max, Maya, Lightwave, Blender, you should be kind of familiar with these concepts. Uh, in this case here, you have this little widget that lets you spin to the different views. And the little triangle or square in the center will take you back to your perspective view. On the uh, iPhone version, you have um, this drop-down list. So you can go right, left, top. And then this button here is very useful because this switches between your orthogonal and your perspective viewpoints of, of that side. So you go to free and it will let you go back to um, any kind of view you want. Holding down your option, I'm going to be uh, giving you the keyboard shortcuts on the Mac because that's what I'm using. Uh, holding down your option and any of the mouse buttons will let you uh, move the camera. Option, left mouse, orbit, option, middle mouse. Uh, pan, option, right mouse, zoom. Very simple, okay? Uh, then you have your hierarchy view, which shows you all of the objects that are currently in your scene, okay? Uh, when you select a particle system, uh, it will start animating if you have it set up to do that, and you'll be able to see it in real time, what your particle system is behaving like. You can modify it in real time so that you can don't have to guess at what it's going to look like. Uh, over here in the inspector, you can see... Uh, whatever is, is kind of case sensitive to whatever object you have selected the set at, the, at the moment. For example, this is the camera selected, and as you can see, the camera has certain parameters that uh, go with it. 
as you would expect from a camera, uh, clipping plane, uh, field of view, things like that. And um, you can see here I've attached some scripts to the camera. I've attached a, what they call an audio listener so that you can hear audio. And I've dragged in a bunch of different uh, uh, assets into the scripts to populate these variables. Okay. Uh, down here uh, in the project uh, window, you'll see any kind of assets that Unity understands will be listed in this project window. So when you create a new project, uh, Unity will create uh, some folders for you. In this case, my game is called Dragon Wars, and I got a, a folder here with my build target in there, which is uh, an Xcode project. And also, there was an assets folder created. So anything that I want to um, uh, bring into this assets folder uh, will show up in my, my project. Okay, so I've got my audio, I've got my models, uh, I've got some GUI images here, some material images, and then some of the other ones, prefab scenes and scripts and assets, uh, that one, those were created by Unity themselves. But, um, so that's an overview of, you know, the Unity system, basically what it is, and uh, some of how it works. And so in, in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to deal with assets in using uh, Unity.